Hey guys, channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to earn the achievement in Mountain Blade Warband Windows 10 Game Pass version. So the mock player in this is a lot easier than the Xbox version because what you can do is host a game and set to all bots, lock it down like I have here, and we can earn the achievements really thick and fast. So first one we're going to do is win around in battle mode. So what I've done is set it so we have 12 people on our team versus the one enemy. Fiving. Yeah, that's an achievement popping there for winning in battle mode. Literally, all you need to do in that, then you can quit the game. Another game, conquest, and start the map. Again, you want to do it on arena as the map. control points and it could trickle down So once we capture all three flags, the word of warning I'd give is the AI isn't great at capturing flags, so make sure you take the time to capture each flag. That's the length of time that takes. And once the enemy hits run down to zero, now they're not going to get close to them with the amount of people we've got, so unlock ruin the raid. Put out of that. Now with the other two I'm about to show you on Team Deathmatch and Deathmatch you can actually change the map and it unlocks when you end the round. However, it does not work on conquest, so fortunately you are gonna to have to sit it out. I mean you can boost your weapon kill achievements in this by playing the round as well. Just make sure you give your team a substantial amount of different people compared to theirs. So do is highlight it. That's how you change the map. Do is go on to Team Deathmatch. Focus on our kills. So we do twelve side Nords and Vigiers. Now the reason I've picked these two is because the first thing you want to do is get your fifty blunt kills. And the only class that I've seen in the game that have them is the Begears. So you want to select Winged Mace. You just want to buy some sort of upgraded armor just to give yourself a bit of a chance. Then we'll predominantly be using the Nords, as I'll show you after we get a couple of kills. So use your Weapon change to go to the mace. And the other reason I've chosen the arena is is 
that was a very good shot by that archer there. Is the mounted enemies often get stuck on the walls in the arena? And it's such a small map, you're gonna get killed thick and fast in this one. So. Well, it doesn't really matter too much if you die a few times, you know, you're just gonna respawn and get straight back into the thick of it. Uh. Always try and uh, swing back and make sure you use your shield. And once you hit 50 of them, that will pop. And then what you do is switch teams to the Nords. If you go to the North Scout, you have a lot more options. So, you've got your Lance, so you want to keep that for your Shish Kebab kills. And then, you want to equip throwing axes. If you've unlocked your Shish Kebab already, you can keep the Nord and then keep the sword for the 50 slashing. But what you want to do is you can do two things that so you can either Stay as a Nord Scout, buy axe, obviously just make sure you have enough money. And that will get you your two achievements, so you need 50 throwing axe kills and 100 mounted projectile kills. Now, if you complete the axe one before the 100 mounted projectiles, what you can do is switch to the Kagears and collect the mounted horse archers. In that way, get that a lot quicker as well. You know, difficulty wise, it's a lot easier than the next version box because, you know, like that guy there, they get stuck on objects, but they walk around in groups. So even if you miss, you know, it's not the end of the world, just switch weapon to something else you need and rinse some repeat. Thing I would recommend as well is once you unlock your plant of kills with the gears, switch to the enemies Saranid, they don't have armor. A lot of the, the gear troops are thickly armored, so they take you know a lot more hits like that. So, so once you've done that and you've popped everything, just switch to the map or even switch teams at the last minute. Now, each of these maps only lasts 15 minutes, so you're looking at an hour tops to beat this. And the only other tip I'd recommend is, like I did there, soften them up a little bit. You're throwing axe kills. Go, one, two. So rinse and repeat. You'll be done with an hour, guys. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment. And Hopefully I'll see you soon for some future videos. Peace.